Please forgive me, Lloyd. It's not Cecile's fault that Kia isn't here. Not at all. It's entirely mine for abandoning her. Risha's with him. Now come over. Ah! Run, or you'll get caught up in it. Ah! Kia! No. Kia! Kia! Where are you? Grandfather! Ellie! We'll be fine! We'll see each other again soon, I promise! There are other people who need you! Yeah. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I could have ran to her voice and grabbed her hand, but I chose not to. I don't deserve to call myself her guardian, or even be a part of the SSS. So that's what happened. It's going to be alright, Ellie. Key is just fine. I'm sure of it. How can you be so sure? We've done nothing but force hardship on her. Ever since we returned from the Azure Tree. While we fought for our home's freedom, she stood by us and helped however she could. Despite being separated from her best friend. And never once did she not have a smile on her face. No matter how hopeless things felt, Kian never stopped smiling for us. She never gave up. We were the ones who swore to protect her. And there she was again, being the one who protected and supported us, just like always. You're right. She always has. We were only able to continue smiling ourselves because her smile was giving us hope. I think that's exactly what she was trying to do the day we were separated, too. I'll be fine! We'll see each other again soon, I promise! There are other people who need you! I couldn't see her face, but I could feel how desperate she was to encourage me. Even though she must have been so scared. How can one little girl be so positive? I'd like to say that's how she's always been. But we both know she's even stronger now than she was before. Kia isn't the same girl she was when we first met. She's no longer powerless to fight against a terrible fate was decided without her consent. She's one of us now, in every sense of the word. Always with us, always fighting and smiling. In just two years, she's grown and become the Kia Bannings we all know and love. That's why, if she says she'll be all right, and that we'll see each other again, then I know we can believe her. So there's only one thing left for us to do, right? Yes. You're right again. I think deep down, part of me still thought of her as a helpless child that needs us to look after her. I should have known better. Should have seen that as we were getting stronger, she was right there with us getting stronger too. Well, I'm hardly in any position to judge when it comes to being overprotective of Kia. But the thing is, she put her trust in us. So it's only right we do the same thing when she asks, right? You're on fire, huh? Right again. There's so much for us to do right now. The only way we're going to manage is by taking it one step at a time. Kia told me she would be okay, and that there are other people who need me. I'm going to place my faith in that, 
So I'm sure we'll be reunited as long as we stay the course. That's the spirit. It's only a matter of time before our paths cross again. So we don't want to disappoint her when we meet up. I'd say we owe it to her as her guardians. And as her friends. This is so like you, Lloyd. Always encouraging me when I need it most. It's been this way for a long time, hasn't it? That night on the roof when I thought of leaving the SSS. Even when I decided to become Grandfather's secretary during the occupation. Sometimes I wonder if the only reason I've been able to keep going these last few years is because I knew you were with me. Words can't express how grateful I truly am. I'm flattered, but I don't think I did anything particularly special. I've known for a long time that your future was going to lead you to politics. And I know you'll make Crossbell and the world a better place. So I'm happy to do whatever I can to give you a push in the right direction if you need it. Is that the only reason? I hope the reason you look after me so much isn't just for the good of Crossbell. I thought it would sound cooler if I put it that way. But you got me. I think my feelings are a little more straightforward than that. I want to do what I can to help you realize your dreams because... You're Ellie. You're important to me. That's the real reason. <laughs> Thanks. I know I forced that out of you, so forgive me for being a little selfish. I think that's just what I needed to hear to begin looking forward again. You always make me feel like nothing is impossible, not even getting our home back. Because nothing ever is. And I'll be right here to tell you as many times as it takes.